Only about 30 people took part in this recent pride march in the Georgian capital. Media were not invited, and the group avoided the main thoroughfares. The aim was to show pride, but carefully, and avoid potential acts of aggression in a nation where homosexuality remains taboo. Visibility is very important, so uh, the, the, the whole idea behind the Pride is uh, to make uh, queer people more visible. Ever since we announced the Pride, uh, we have been facing a lot of uh, difficulties from the government, uh, which has not been taking our side. They were trying to do their best to, uh, to sabotage our event, to lead us to the decision when we would cancel. And without police escorts to protect them, they took to the streets. People demonstrating against the parade are the face of Georgian conservatism. While the more extreme groups may not represent the majority of Georgian society, this is a nation that is visibly conservative and one that is struggling to reconcile its traditionalism with its ambitions to join a European Union that embraces modern Western liberal values. For conservative Georgian uh, society, if you will push people and say that if you don't like LGBT, you are not pro-Western, uh, and this is the main value of uh, Western society. Uh, many people will say that, okay, in this case, we don't want to join a Western society. Religion is at the heart of Georgia's national identity and plays a central role in society. The Eastern Orthodox Christian Church has been clear on its views. Trans trans um we cannot accept the destruction of our national values that liberals are trying to do. Therefore, we will take from Europe whatever criteria does not contradict our traditions and historical values. But propaganda and the elevated role of homosexuality is unacceptable. To those working to advance LGBT rights in Georgia, it is clear there is a long journey ahead. For Ricardo Marquina in Tbilisi, I'm Steve Reddish, VOA News.